This is another Airsoft mic production. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this box. Oh, first thing I'm going to say is a huge thank you to Archwick and the people that also made this very possible. BZ Tactical. Right, let me just uh, get the box open and I'll be right back. Well, how, how can I explain this? This is a high-end sniper rifle at a sort of mid-tier price, okay? Right, so. Let me get the, oh, the main baby out first. Very well packaged. Okay, that's my paperwork. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice little BZ Tactical Division PVC patch. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's quite a compact box. Don't you worry. There's a reason why this box isn't as long as or longer than the desk upon which it sits. It's because you've got to set this bad boy up. <laughs> okay? You've got to put it together out of the box. Let's have a quick look. Okay. We have an instruction manual. No, no we don't. This is not an instruction manual. This is an amendment notice. And then on this side, it shows you all the BNT Air SPR 300 Pro factory upgrade parts. And by the way, fully licensed, okay? So although it's an Archwick brand, it's a BNT. Now, I'm not expecting a whole load of views on this because this bad boy has been knocking about the internet and on YouTube for a good part of what? six to 12 months now and obviously someone high up decided hold on we'd like airsoft mike's take on this his style of crazy unboxing maybe they didn't say crazy but that's i'm thinking that but anyway oh mate i tell you i love a neat package oh so this is the actual instruction manual right here oh very oh come on now that's how you do an instruction manual, yeah? Look at that bad boy, how neat does that look? Come on! Uh, oh my gosh, would you look at that barrel? I wouldn't expect anything less from B&T. Woo! Massive, huge silencer effect there for the barrel. Oh, this is nice. Little accessory box. Oh, and by the way, it's a dual mag system. You heard me, a dual mag system. You can have two magazines in this, but, oh, come on. How tactical is that? There's the original, if you want it to look authentic like it's real brother, and then you've got your VSR style magazine get in. Right, let's get it all out of the box. Let's first take out the accessory box, which, oh, okay, it's like a, a cover. And then underneath, see, I told you, I opened these things for the first time only when you're watching. <laughs> so, nice. It looks like they give you absolutely everything you need, I believe, to put this bad boy together. I tell you what, let's put these up there. That's quite important. Let's uh, just slot that back in. Now, you've got the, I love this. This looks exactly like the real deal. The 300 Blackout Mag. Oh, oh, I love a tactical name. There, look. And loving the colour coordination between the bottom of the mag and that follower look. I mistakenly thought when I took it out of the box, oh look, they've got like a desert earth coloured BB in there. No, that's the follower, my friends. <laughs> right, next out is the rail system. Nice, and there's your extra side rails, cool. Oh, and by the way, purely optional you don't have to put this on and i'll show you why momentarily but i'm gonna put this bad boy on come on it makes it look way more tactical and it's got some practical uses too <laughs> right i tell you what let me take out the uh, vsr style magazine so you can see it properly very nice and again i can't wait to get to the part where i show you how all this dual mag system works and everything it's not as basic as you think it's pretty clever <laughs> Right, we've also got, wow, look at this beast. Let's get it out. 
Look at that baby! <laughs> By the way, everything is already all fully upgraded with this model, yeah? So, if you're going to try and upgrade this even more, good grief. <laughs> but anyway, what we have here is your bolt and your bolt handle or your cooking handle this is steel by the way you've got a steel cylinder too right here's the bit that excites me the most oh look at this beast here is the barrel would you look at that bad boy and what i love about this too can you see that actually zoom in yes it's a tdc hop-up system and look it's a CNC aluminium hop-up unit. Come on, or aluminum. And last, but by no means least, because without this, the rest of this is useless. <laughs> we have the main body of the 300 itself. Oh. It's a lightweight polymer lower receiver and an aluminium upper receiver. Get in. I'm loving that. And Mate, I can literally feel it with my finger as I'm holding it. This butt pad, oh, the rubber on that is buttery smooth. I'm not just making that up. While I was holding it, I can literally feel it anyway. Um, let's get it together. <laughs> right, so I want to install the barrel first. Yeah, this badass barrel. Look at the size of this meaty thing. Anyway. We want to put that on first. Before we can do that, we've got to remove this bridge. Now you're probably wondering what on earth is a bridge? A bridge? Well, literally, this bad boy right here serves as a bridge, <clears throat> I'm going through puberty again, um, for your BBs. All will be explained a little later. Now, just push that forward. And I think there's a button somewhere. Yeah, this button right here. Press that too. And out comes your bridge. Now. Is it giving you an idea of what purpose the bridge serves? Right here you've got some tape. This is literally stopping your barrel support from uh, becoming dislodged during transit. Um, of course once you get it you can just get rid of this tape, you don't need it anymore because once the barrel's on there, the barrel will stop this from falling out and this will support your barrel. Right now to insert the barrel, you see this L shape thing right here? That needs to be pointing upwards. So you do it like that. And then turn. So that your TDC hop-up system is also facing upwards. Then we grab the longest screw that you've got in your pack of accessories. You grab that one. And you just want to turn this on its side and pop that screw in right here. And of course, like I said before, everything you need to put this bad boy together, they supply you with. So it's one of these bad boys. Okay, so I've got the right Allen key size here. Let's get this screw in. So once you have that screw in, then you want to turn it around. How cool does this look already? <laughs> anyway, you want to turn it around and you see that hole right there? There's already a form of a screw system in there that you need to tighten to fully secure this barrel. Now, when I say tighten, I don't mean proper tight. Basically, get your Allen key in, you start to tighten it, and then as soon as you feel a resistance, one eighth more, whatever that is, just a little bit more of a tighten, and that's it, okay? So right now I'm feeling there's your resistance, Okay, so I'm just gonna, just a little bit more and Bob's your uncle. Right, next thing I wanna do is put this bad boy bolt in. Now, when I do try to put it in, zoom in, you will notice that the bolt will get blocked right there and you can't push that in any further. The way to get around that is, first of all, it already is, so that's good, make sure it's on fire. This secondary safety device right here, you want to push that forward and while holding that forward, you want to pull that trigger. So I'll use these two fingers to do that action right now. So I'm pushing that forward, I'm now pulling that trigger. I can now push this bolt all the way in and make sure you bring it all the way into there, but do not bring the bolt down. Right now, do you remember me unboxing this at the beginning? This is your spring guide stopper. 
You need to insert that in your rifle. And you need to insert that right there. It's even got a cutout there, the same shape as that part of the stopper. Can you see? Cool. So, I shove that in, and just like everything else, it will only go in so far. Look, let me just turn it this way. Can you see? It's not fully flush. Now to get that sitting up in here properly, you need to move something out the way. So what you do is you get the Allen key that you used earlier, or something of a similar size. There's a little space at the back of the bolt for you to shove that in. And what you do is you shove it in and hold it. That moves. Hang on. Wait a minute. We can get this. See that? It's now in. And now Bob's your uncle, you can drop your bolt handle. Nice. Just do it a couple of times to make sure everything is working as it should be. Right, here comes the super cool thing about this whole system by Archwick. <laughs> it's a two magazine system like I mentioned earlier on. The cool thing is, you can either use the original authentic looking 300 blackout magazine or you can use your VSR style magazine. Now, here's the cool bit. You're thinking, uh, VSR style mag, blackout magazine, what's that? <laughs> Remember I told you that's the bridge? Let me take you to the bridge. Take them to the bridge, take them to the bridge. And show you what it does. <laughs> Literally, how many of you are still waiting to see what on earth is in this bag? I'll come back to it. Now, if I turn this bad boy on its side, have a look. You can literally see where the VSR style magazine would go, which is right here. You can also see where the 300 blackout magazine would go. However, this is where the science kicks in, right? Let's say I filled up the VSR style magazine and I pop it in, making sure to hear a click. It's now in. Now once you've sniped and your magazine is empty, you literally press this button right here and your magazine will plop out. Nice. Now that's the actual area where I just removed the VSR style magazine and right there you can see where the BBs, that nice little red unit right there, that's where the BBs would be fed. However, if I just move the camera back, that's where you would put the 300 Blackout magazine. However, now those of you already knowledgeable about this system or Airsoft as a whole, you know what I'm going to say next. If the 300 Blackout magazine is there and the BBs have to go up in there, how, what, when? Well, it's easy. That's where Take him to the bridge! Take him to the bridge! This bad boy comes into play. That is why this is called your bridge. You grab your bridge, remembering that that's where the BBs are going to ultimately be fed from. You stick it in, but take note. You see that there? You want to push this in as far as it will go before, once again, something will be blocking it. <laughs> and you can see it right there. You want to make sure that that is pulled in like that. You see how easy, how easy that slipped in? But before you do that, and while you're doing that, make sure the back piece goes in as well, because if you don't, it will do that. So let me just do this again. So we're kind of simultaneously putting it in, and there you go, Bob's your uncle. And again, you want to make sure that that is sitting in there neatly. So now that you've got your bridge in, you can now get your blackout mag, or should I give it its full title, your 300 blackout mag, slot it in and operate this bad boy exactly how its big brother, or should I say real brother, operates in terms of how it looks. And this is the extra cool tactical thing that happens next. So just imagine this magazine was full of BBs and don't worry, I will actually be doing that for the chrono test. But imagine this was full of BBs. When you put it in, you're gonna hear a rush of BBs go into your bridge, effectively acting like your VSR magazine, yes? And then it will be fed as normal. But guess what? You can then take that 300 blackout magazine out again and top it back up and put it in, get in. Ooh, 
Now, as it is, this looks super cool, I'm telling you. But remember, I still haven't unfolded that stock yet. Wait till you see the length of this bad boy when I do that. And I'm gonna put the rest of the rail system on, which makes it look even more tactical. So to do this, let me just pull this forward because it's gonna be super long. <laughs> um, to release your folding stock, you just push up on that and Bob's your uncle. Come on, I'll tell you what, let's just keep that one safe. <laughs> Look at the length of that bad boy. And guess what? This stock isn't even fully extended. Good grief. The thing is practically the size of my table. <laughs> now I've got to stress again, you don't have to put that extra rail kit on if you don't want to because the rail system on here, full metal by the way, upper full metal, lower polymer, good quality polymer, um, the rail system that's already built onto your piece is more than long enough to accommodate your optics. But I'm going to, because it's tactical. So, <laughs> here it is. You see the holes there? And there's another one there. There's reciprocating, no, what's that word? Reciprocate, uh, right, you see these holes here? There's a couple there that you gotta put these over, yeah? So <laughs> you put them on there like that, but take note on the top. You can see right there that they slot into each other. So, Bob's your uncle. Yes, I believe the word I was looking for was reciprocating or reciprocate. <laughs> reciprocate, but anyway. The four screws you've got left, those babies, you can use them to actually just install your extra metal side rails without all of this on there, okay? However, if you want the whole full kit, put this on like I just showed you, and then you can put your side rails on over that. I'm gonna do it now, you don't need to see me doing it, I'll be right back. Oi, I said you don't need to see me doing it. And there it is, people, the entire rail system installed. However, those of you with eagle eyes would have noticed, look, you've even got M-Lock right there and right here. However, on the real big brother one, um, this would be duplicated here, but because we need it for the airsoft world to be able to release your VSR style mag or your bridge, we've got a button there instead. So you've only got one M-Lock slot right here and one on the side of the piece, replicated on the other side. Right, so it's a 50 round mag system and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. And by the way, when I keep saying the real deal or the bigger brother real deal, there's nothing bigger about it. This is to scale my airsoft friends full size. Right, let's fill the mag up. Oh, and by the way, because this magazine has to fill the bridge before you can chamber anything, you don't fill it up from the top, look. You fill it up from there because it has to feed the actual SPR 300 that way. Not up and then that way. It goes directly that way into the bridge and then Bob's your uncle. Now, you're probably thinking, what about the stock? I'll get back to the stock in a minute. Let's just do the mag. Right, so I've got to remember. <laughs> You've got to fill it up that way. So get the speed loader there. Oh, and there's another cool thing I've got to tell you about this platform. Oh my gosh, hang on. I absolutely love this whole barrel system. Look how big it is. But that's not just there for looks. Guess what? You can fit a Bifrost, an Ace Tech Bifrost in this bad boy and sling Tracer BBs out of it. Get in! Now, I'm going to put the 300 blackout mag in and remember I said when you put it in it's going to shove a whole load of BBs into the bridge. Listen up. Did you hear that? <laughs> so that's a whole load of BBs in the bridge and now I can release the mag. One might pop out. There you go. And put even more BBs in there. Get in! which technically means you get way more BBs for your money in this system than stated. Nice. Do you know what? 
It almost feels like you have an advantage. No, scrap that. It definitely feels like you have an advantage over all other airsoft Sniper. operatives. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna briefly show you. I'm not gonna actually do anything, right? Because you can see how this bad boy will work. Again, they give you all the Allen keys necessary for you to do your adjustments. Not only can you extend this stock even longer, you can see right here that you can adjust your cheek rest. Nice, and that's by loosening these bad boys, and you've got a couple on the other side too. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, oh my gosh, if this isn't the most rubbery, smoothery, still has some nice grip on it though. Right now, as I said, it is hop-up adjustable with that gorgeous CNC aluminium hop-up unit with TDC rotary adjustments. Nice. And it's also worth noting if this stock isn't your thing, although I don't see why it wouldn't be, but if it isn't your thing, you can actually take this entire stock off Put a different adapter on there and your world of options is your oyster. Is that a saying? <laughs> I don't know why I always overcomplicate things. The world is your oyster. Now, you've got here your QD sling points, naturally, one on either side. And right here at the front, I don't know if you can just see it. There you go, look. More QD sling points. Again, one on either side. And not only do you have a mag release here, if you look on the other side, you've got another very cool looking one right there. And of course, if you're using the VSR style magazine, which I showed you before, that has its own release system, which also releases your bridge right there. Oh, she looks gorgeous. <laughs> now listen, what I'm gonna tell you next does not apply to anyone in the UK. I repeat, what I'm going to tell you next does not apply to anyone in the UK. Right, that's my disclaimer. Guess what? This thing is so heavily pre-upgraded out of the box, you can put the strongest of springs in here and it will handle it, meaning it will give you some crazy FPS ratings. However, if you're in the UK, the most we're allowed by law for a platform like this is 519 or 520 FPS, no more. But in terms of gameplay, you're not allowed that anyway. <laughs> now, for those of you that um, are not familiar with Airsoft thinking, but it only slings little plastic balls. Oh my gosh, if you knew what a little plastic ball could do. <laughs> Not just little, it's not all about these little lead pellets like in, in, in air gun, and I'm not dissing air guns because that's where I come from and I still have air rifles, yeah? But don't underestimate airsoft, especially airsoft sniper rifles that are top of the range. <laughs> right, let's chrono this bad boy and remember what I said. <laughs> no matter what I get today on the chrono, think a lot higher if you're in the country where it's allowed. Right, let's do this. Right, so I'm using industry standard 0.20s for this uh, quick chrono test. With a platform like this, this highly upgraded, I would recommend 0.28s and higher. In fact, 0.30s and higher. But just for the purpose of a standard chrono test, 0.20s. Look at that. So that's 425.9, rounded up to 426. Nice. Now, remember, this has what I would call a regular spring in here. A very good spring mind, but when I say regular, what I mean is, like I said before, you can whip something in a lot stronger if you wish. This bad boy can handle it. So, as you can see out of the box, you're gonna get around the ballpark of about 420 uh, FPS and higher. Oh my gosh, 
I need to take this bad boy out to the range and I mean the private farm that I have access to because I've not been there for ages they've actually got a proper um, shooting range there too um, but I get to use the disused part of the farm for my test but it's a it's a bit away from where I'm based so I can't always get there and my other busy life outside of airsoft really does restrict me a lot right so once again a huge thank you to bz tactical now bz tactical is the airsoft section to bz paintball okay so you've got bz tactical where you've got all your airsoft goodies and then you've got bz paintball <laughs> anyway bz paintball on that I'm, I'm joking anyway you've got bz paintball on the other side i love paintball too never tried it but it looks fun but i will stick to my airsoft Huge thank you to BZ Tactical and to Archwick who gave the go ahead and the blessing for them to send me one of these bad boys and I love it. I'm not going to give my final verdict yet because I do need to do an accuracy test. I want to use heavier BBs. I love the fact that you can put an Ace Tech Bifrost in that bad boy. I love that it's a premium feel. I love that there is nothing further to upgrade in this bad boy <laughs> although you could push it a bit further if you wanted to but out of the box it's there I guess it just all boils down to what sort of optics you want on your bad boy I think that fits it very nicely um, yeah beautiful and of course you can put a bipod on there I've already shown you the M-lock um, section under there mate I'm gonna call it in terms of looks, how it feels, the FPS, everything out of the box. This is the best airsoft sniper rifle I have unboxed on this channel. And I've done a few. Right, in case you haven't noticed, I do have an AI that is part of the team now. <laughs> and I'll leave it to the AI on my channel to give you all the spec. I'm out of here, bye. Fully licensed replica, one piece lightweight polymer lower receiver, fully upgraded out of the box including, steel cocking handle, steel cylinder, 90 degree steel trigger, CNC machined aluminum piston set, CNC machined stainless steel spring guide, CNC aluminum hop up unit with TDC adjustment knob and custom oversized pressure plate, CNC hard anodized and precision honed 6.03 millimeters inner barrel, CNC aluminum outer barrel with built in mock suppressor, system upgradable up to an M170 spring, 45 cc cylinder polymer ar style grip oh i nearly forgot <laughs> what's in here bz and rebel stickers there's loads <laughs> lovely i'll tell you what when i first saw that <laughs> i thought that was black